the issues and try to give people knowledge, believing in you that you'll be able to check out the info yourself, learn even more than I know, and then go out and affect change. Um, I have trailblazed alternative media. We have reached hundreds of millions of people total, uh, and we promote liberty. But for people to say you've never fixed anything, Alex, or, you know, you haven't come up with some master plan to reverse everything, uh, I'm up here saying don't authorize designer babies. Uh, I, I'm up here saying let's get rid of abortion. I'm up here saying it's not good to finance a war in Ukraine. We helped stop uh, the Syria war. Even the Syria government said that. Uh, even our own corrupt government said that. Uh, I just don't get the criticism. You say making a lot of money. Uh, it takes a lot of money to run this operation. I don't get NPR money from taxpayers or stimulus money like MSNBC. But then I'm even dirtier that I would sell high-quality products to finance our authors, our uh, operation. It's just amazing. I'm going to come back to you. By the way, InfoWarsStore.com. I didn't plug this hour. We need your financial support. Great products. InfoWarsStore.com. Thanks for reminding me about that, uh, Kevin. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. The headline from agency French Press is Geoengineering No Holy Grail. That's the chemtrailing operation hidden in plain view. Now 20 kids have polio-like illnesses. Uh, out in California. May become thousands, folks. It's in the vaccines. We're going to cover that. That's just some of it. Black pastors want uh, Holder impeached. Okay, let's go back because he asked this question. We were up against the break. I responded to it. He said he has a beef with me that this show is more like a church. And I did just spend 45 minutes speaking out against cloning and genetic engineering. A, because we don't know where it's going. B, because the elite admit it can cause mutations down the line. And C, they've been caught Trojan horsing things. Uh, I mean, I'm here criticizing George Soros, funding overthrows overseas. I'm just here trying to cover real news. I mean, that to cover false flag terror attacks, to cover the Boston bombing being staged and have our reporter take over press conferences, that's stuff you get killed for. I got death threats over that, and so did Dan Badandi serious ones and i'm not calling for people's support or thanks but man i i work 18 hours a day many days uh and i've been doing this 19 years and you know i don't make any apologies about the fact that i drive a nice ford f-150 pickup truck and i don't and i live in a you know decent house and i wear okay clothes but i don't worship um materialism it's it's not my god it's way down the line on my pyramid of hierarchy of needs uh, for those that know what a hierarchy of needs is, you know, up at the top is helping others and and, and building a better civilization and spirituality. Um, at the bottom of it is housing and clothing and 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 heating and cooling and things like that. Uh, but I mean, I'm more than happy to be criticized uh, by anything legitimate uh, by the caller that's been listening 17 years. I mean, Kevin, I think we've had some real success stories with this broadcast and i think we've gotten better uh over time here on air at really articulating a lot of serious social issues that need to be discussed and debated i'm just trying to get people to realize that reality is a lot deeper and wider than what mainstream media is trying to project uh but set me right i mean explain to me how i'm a church explain it all to me well first off thanks for letting me respond because you, you literally could have let me go so thanks for letting oh, me I, I love being criticized. It's actually boring oh, okay. to be to be thanked. I mean, tell tell me though. Yeah, and 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 secondly, remember, I'm a 17 year listener. Everything that you've ever talked about, I listen every single day. Everything you ever talked about that goes into my brain. So I'm not. Well, I mean, I think after 17 years, people get irritated with something. I get irritated with myself. Maybe you need a break from the show. Maybe you should do your own show. That's actually funny that you mentioned that because I was thinking the same thing for you. And the reason why I say that is because. If I'm a 17-year listener and I'm starting to lose a bit of faith, there must be a reason why. It's not just because I'm listening. No, it's day. because you 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 start associating me covering the problems with the problems at a subconscious level. Well, I, I think it's actually a little bit more than that, and you're probably right. But I think what it has more to do with is I know you're right, and a lot of people do as well. 
But for the last 17 years, if you had to measure your uh, your accomplishments or your your trophies by either what you've done to change, whether it be drone killings, whether it be poisoning the water, if you had we're to actually getting that, fluoride pulled out all over the place, but I don't deserve but a small part of that credit. See. I, I totally disagree with you. We Most people know the Federal Reserve's private now. Most people know there's a world government now. I mean, we have, people didn't know any of this 15 years ago. And and if you ask the average person who got them thinking, they will tell you Alex Jones. I, I don't know how you can say we're a failure when we've been a raving, wild, exploding success. Or to quote Robert Duvall in Network, a big bleeping hit. You were a failure. In fact, I think you're missing what I'm telling you. What I'm telling you is, is the people that you should actually be reaching out to the most, the ones that have been listening to you for 17 years, not three years and don't have a job. I work every single day and even on the weekends, but yet I still listen to you. My friend, you just have to have a little bit of patience and just hear what I'm saying. You're listening to a guy who takes heat from his wife because of the amount of time I listen to you. Yeah, but you're mad because you're awake and not living in the Matrix. I didn't do that. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. All right, I want to hurry through your phone calls. Toll-free number to join us is 800-259-9231. I'm going to the last caller about 10 minutes, but I want him to finish up his point because he's being critical. I want to find out exactly what he's getting at. Then coming up, geoengineering, no holy grail in, quote, climate change. There's massive geoengineering going on, changing our climate, basically terraforming it. Also, Berkeley girl among California children who contracted polio-like illness. It's up to 20. By the way, these have been vaccinated children, I should add. Whenever I hear about polio-like polio -like outbreaks, where it's not polio, it's always vaccine-related overseas. I think that's the main culprit here, the main suspect that should be looked at. That is coming up uh, right now. Let's go back to Kevin. Kevin, I'm going to give you about a minute to quantify your criticism as a 17-year listener, exactly what you're getting at. Go ahead. Great. I'll make it quick. You uh, keep pushing the mute button there so I can't actually get out what I'm trying to say. But I'll make hey, it Hold really on just a minute. Hold on just a minute. Now, see, you had about a minute or so before we went to break last hour. You had a couple minutes of that short segment, and you're on air right now. Are you? A hold on, put him on hold. Now, that's not a fair intellectual discussion. I'm not hitting a mute button on you. I don't have control of this phone call. They're airing it in there. Now, I just told them to turn you down so I could talk. That's a fake intellectual argument to call in and say that I'm muting you when I'm giving you about three times longer than the other callers have had today. Now, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you two minutes, and I'm watching the clock, it's going to be 10 after in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. You got two minutes. Go ahead. Okay. I would appreciate if you could, since you say that Jesse Ventura, Larry Pratt, Max Kaiser, all have something good to say about you in public, on TV, or some kind of video recording. If you could just give me three for each, um, that I can go look, three for each. And I'll go out and have a look because you're the one that say that we're supposed to stick together and have each other's backs. And when I look at Jesse Ventura, who I look up to just as much as I look up to you, and I look at Larry Pratt, the exact same thing, and they're not backing you. That's all I have to say, Alex. You can use the rest for another caller. Okay, so that's your criticism of me? That's, 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 that's why I'm bad? I mean, that sounded like high school or something. Um. I don't follow a lot of what Jesse Ventura and Larry Pratt do because I'm busy, but I've actually heard Jesse Ventura say nice things about me on other shows. And I've actually heard um, Max Kaiser say nice things about me without even trying to find it. Now, I'm sure they disagree with me on some issues, and that probably gets brought up, but what is that even about? Listen, it's not my job, and I want to be clear about something here. People always tell me, hey, Alex, you're paranoid. No, I'm not paranoid when I know about thousands of declassified studies using lethal chemicals, biologicals, radiologicals on veterans, on foster kids, you name it. That shows me we've had a long-term scientific elite that Eisenhower warned us of that's doing a lot of secret evil testing on the public to set that precedent. And I know about the U.S. code that claims as long as it's for law enforcement, 
or research purposes, even, even lethal testing they claim is legal. Well, I say that's a fraudulent law in the U.S. Code. It's in Title 50, Chapter 32. It, it bars secret testing, but then authorizes it for law enforcement uh, or uh, research purposes. And so I'm just up here trying to get people to think about big issues like that and all the secret testing and things that are going on. Uh, I'm not trying to sound popular. I'm not trying to say what's palatable for the establishment. I'm not trying to go along with the system's talking points so that the system will put me on air. I am trying to build my own media system, and I'm trying to be as true as I can to the truth and to try to be as accurate as I can with all this research and information to really tell people what's going on in the world. And I think if you go back to what I was saying 17, 18, 19 years ago now on air, you will hear those old shows. We ought to re-air some of those from like 15 years ago. And it is like I was in a time machine breaking down what was going to happen. But I'm not in a time machine. The globalists are very public about their programs. It's all a giant scientific test with them tweaking and changing, but it all basically goes in the same direction. And so I don't care what other people say about me on air. I don't care. I mean, you could take somebody like Mark Dice, who I put on the map. He's a talented guy. Eight, nine years ago, he'd do these videos and write books and stuff, and I helped him more than anybody get a niche in media as a media analyst. He's got, a, I guess, an RTF degree. And then he got mad at me a few years ago and you know, basically made up a bunch of stuff and attacked me. And, and, and then after his attacks failed, after about a year, I said to him, the prodigal son, I said, you're doing a lot of really good work. And I said, I forgive you. And, uh, and I just did all this to show you a life lesson. And as I mature more, I realize it doesn't matter if people deny me to other folks when they're under pressure or they buy into the Cass Sunstein, you know, attack system of, you know, Alex Jones is being attacked. I'll be popular by attacking. I'm being attacked because I'm on point. I'm being attacked because I'm on target. And if you're over the target with a bomber, you're going to have flack. You're going to have the big guns firing at you and then exploding rounds that send shrapnel out. So I fly into the flack. If I'm not being attacked, if I'm not getting controversy, if I'm not being demonized, I'm not doing my job. And it's that simple. And I'm here to get people out of their comfort zone. I'm here to shake people out of their, their trance. And if it was shocking to a nation of zombies, even mainline conservatives, to have me yell and scream at the BBC or yell and say this isn't a game to Piers Morgan, you notice in hindsight everyone says it's one of the best moments in TV ever. That's all over the news the last two days. Uh, people say it's a defining moment. I had a major publisher call me yesterday and some media analysts, and they were saying, we believe that's when the tide turned in the debate on the Second Amendment was when we just called it all out. And I'm not giving myself credit, but folks, when you're under attack and the enemy is flagrantly violating your rights and nakedly stomping around, playing patty cake and, and being soft-voiced about it is a recipe of slaves. But I'll be the first to tell you I could do a better job. In hindsight, a lot of times when I hear my show or when I make a mistake. But it doesn't matter. I'm in the arena doing the best I can. So I've learned to just move forward. And I think it's good to get some criticism sometimes. You know, it's good. But I, at the same time, it becomes a distraction and there's never really any meat to it. Or there's made up rumors or there's, you know, all this other garbage. Um, you know, if you hear somebody not back me up or say something... You, you talk to them. Don't, don't talk to me. I'm not my brother's keeper. Okay? And that's what it comes down to. Is that I'm here to try to promote other people that have interesting ideas to get people thinking. I'm not here to promote myself. I'm here to die if need be. Because I want to live forever through my progeny. I want humanity to succeed. I care about the big game. I care about the long-term goals. I'm alive. It's that simple. All right, we've been making people hold way too long. Matt is in the United Kingdom, and I apologize for making you hold so long. Uh, but I had to respond to that caller. Matt, go ahead. You're on the air. No, that's, that's fine. Hello, Alex. How you doing, buddy? Um, yeah, basically, uh, you know, I agree with everything you're saying there. It was quite a moving little speech there. 
Um, Pierce Morgan last night 